the bullet hit hit the glass first and then came into the this the the blanket. The blanket, now full of holes, was folded and sitting on this shelf in Edward Park's laundromat during Tuesday's shootout. Just below, he and his employees crouched in fear. We didn't know that one of the sound was that the bullet get through that the glass. So it was so terrifying. His business opened again after police completed their forensic crime scene investigation. Police now say the two suspects killed were 22-year-old twins, Matthew and Isaac Octoloni from Duncan, B.C. We understand that the release of the names of the two deceased may answer the who, but there are still many questions. And investigation efforts that need to take place in order to fully understand what took place and why. This YouTube video shows one of the brothers' Instagram accounts before it was deleted. Multiple sources have verified to CBC that it was his. Most of the posts are about weapons. They show an interest in the military along with anti-government messaging. Investigators say neither brother had a criminal record or was known to police. The motive behind the armed robbery and subsequent exchange of gunfire with police has not yet been determined. CBC News spoke to several people who say they were friends with the brothers. They described them as quiet, shy, with hopes of joining the military and say they were part of a set of triplets with a sister. Now police want information on what the brothers and their car found with improvised explosive devices had been doing prior to the shooting. Three officers remain in hospital. For Park, he's trying to focus on his customers and being grateful. All of us were so terrified, even if we were very lucky. We were very lucky, yeah. Something he will be reminded of every time he looks out his front window. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.